Good day, collective. Welcome to Nisha Star Tarot. I hope life is being kind to you all. I hope you're all being kind to yourselves and each other. Let's get into these messages. I usually start out with a channeled message. I don't have one at the moment. I think my ashtray just cracked in half. Or it's beginning to. Interesting. Something is cracking at the base, at the foundation. Speaking of not having a channeled message, right? So, um... I make resin art and do you see how I use this as like a cauldron but do you see how it's cracking like down the center so something's cracking right down the middle oh it's almost like I'm getting the energy of drawing a line down the center like no longer being able to play the fence anymore having to decide what side you're going to be on draw that line collective Stand in your power. Interesting. <laughs> I don't want to start here, but I will take my wand. Okay. So, um, let's start actually with a mantra for the morning. And it's about, I want to say... Oh, oh, I have a watch, right? What's the point of a watch? Um, what time is it? I want to say, okay, it's 4.59. It's 5 o'clock in the morning here, uh, Eastern Standard Time. So we're right at the cusp of the new day. And I hope it's going to be a prosperous one for us all. But we'll get our morning mantras. I'm just going to pull a couple of them and we'll see where we're at. We're already two minutes in. So 2.33. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Sorry, guys. So the first one out is I honor my commitment to myself. Next we have I am truth. I am proud of myself. It's a good one. What I give is what I receive. I am at peace with who I am. And finally, positivity is a choice. Okay, collective. And it's all the ash on the table. It's getting on my my um, mantras here. But uh, we'll take these and set them to the side. And I just want to start out with pulling one card from my Syrian Starseed deck. Just to give me the general energy for the collective. And we'll go from there. We'll get into the reading. shuffle a few times while we get into this message i hope everyone is doing well five of crystals and the moon popped out but i'm not taking those yet because i still want to shuffle a few more times but um definitely feel free to interact you know in the comment section as well um if you have anything that you would like to see on the channel um, any messages specifically. Um, I am open for personal readings. I would eventually like to go live and be able to, you know, pull cards for people and help them with whatever um, questions they have at the time. Oh, my nose is going off, so we're about to start channeling some messages here. Um, I'm getting... <laughs> 
someone's picking up weird smells. I don't even know what that's about. But it's like your nose is heightened. The sense of smell is starting to be heightened. Or else it's just like, just weird smells going on. Maybe somebody's cooking, like something in the kitchen, something new, something weird. Um, and it's, I'm proud of myself too. Maybe it's their first time cooking or this person doesn't usually cook. So, <laughs> so they're burning things, but <laughs> they're still proud of what they've done. And I'm proud of them too, because it's good to step into something new or something unfamiliar. Uh, it helps us get get out of our comfort zone, get more acquainted with our surroundings and trust, trust in ourselves and in the divine. So underneath the deck, we have Seeker of Flames. This is giving me Knight of Wands energy. So... Hmm... And this is like a mon. I'm seeing like someone. Okay, the energy I'm getting here, and this is the bottom of the deck too. Wow. And I keep talking about smoking and uh, not smoking, but cooking and smelling something weird. I feel like the pot's smoking, but it's like monumental is the energy that I'm getting here. Like the change that's coming or the new beginning that's coming is going to be a monumental. It's going to be so structured. And the other reason why I say structured is because your card out actually is four of crystals. So we're going to take that. But this, the four here is foundational. This is structure. This is, um, Four of Pentacles is basically how you're building your your stability, how you're building your foundation, and what grounding you're sitting upon to do it. So it's like the energy already came where those things that weren't in your highest good or weren't weren't gonna necessarily be um a part of your foundation like a foundational change i see a lot of fire in this i'm being drawn to like the yellows and the even the red here it's fire it's a lot of passionate um quick energy here um things are coming in quickly that are changing foundations and i almost feel like somebody's stuck in the energy of not wanting things to change but at the same time you're asking for it or you're seeking new um so here, let me slow down with this reading and I actually want to drink a little bit of water uh, just so we can ground this a little bit because I feel my throat chakra. Someone's not speaking up. So this is a new flame being ignited and underneath is the tower. What are we talking about? Man, <laughs> what are we talking about here, right? And look at the fire. Someone doesn't want this tower to come down. Um, this is the energy here is holding on too tightly and it's flying out of my hand. I can't even hold on to it. I can't even hold on to it. So why are you trying to? Wow. So four crystals is telling me this is the energy of Earth. Um, this is the energy of Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, this is the energy of being kind of set in your ways or stuck in your foundation. But seeking the night, uh, quick energy. This is um, abundance here too. It's like a new idea, a new creative, passionate like venture that you could go on even perhaps. I get movement with this. But basically, this is to shake up that foundation that you were so like stuck in and almost apprehensive about changing, but you asked for it at one point. This is the ancestors, the ancient ones, the, the monuments, the, the things that um, created this structure for you. Wow. I'm getting ancestors. That's the fire and that's the flame. That's the passion. And you know when you're in your correct space because that passion almost takes over you. And that's the electricity behind it too. You feel an electric pull to something. Um, but you're scared. You're holding on to old structures that aren't working for you. And they're trying to fall. The structures around you are crumbling. This is almost giving me the sense, and I mean, I'm going through it too, and I just feel like with my throat chakra, I really need to speak on it, right? Ashe. So, and I'm wearing blue. This is the energy. Um, 
You've been so grounded in false foundations. You've been so grounded in false ideas. You've been so grounded in things around you that weren't real. They're not real. Like, it's almost like the people, places, and things that were set in your path were to teach you. It's almost like, and it's giving me like the karmic justice or the, the contract that karma, you know? It's like setting things in your path to wake you up. And this is giving me the vibe. And I just watched this movie. It's on Amazon. So if you have Amazon Prime, definitely go try to check this movie out. But it's called Bliss. And everything about that movie i want y'all to see it so i'm not even gonna tell you like what it has to do with just go watch the movie you'll completely understand oh my god and i love the synchronicity of that as well the tower is dropping things at the wayside it's saying that if you're a seeker of truth and this is like a truth teller to me there's a truth here. There's an ancient knowledge here. Uh, there's ancient wisdom here. There's ancient beings here that are holding on to a structure that's falling. It's like someone's holding on too tightly to this earth, to this idea of what this earth is. And it's so much more. It's so much grander. It's so much more abundant. This is telling me too, um, I'm being drawn to the worship here. Make sure you're being grateful. Make sure you're saying thank you. Make sure you're honoring your ancestors. Make sure you're worshiping your truth, who you are at the end of the day, what you represent, your values. Um, because maybe you're. that's even why you're contemplating. This is also the energy of contemplating oneself and contemplating one's values, what one is standing for. And maybe the tower came in to change some things. So now it's like that sense of gratitude that you're actually thankful for all the changes that have been made. But I feel the need to tell you to draw on to the strength of your ancestors or start reaching out to them because there's more there's like more direction that you're meant to there's more <sighs> sorry excuse me and i'm just taking in so much life there's so much i'm being drawn to my do you guys see me as a bit... <laughs> my inner child right i can't help but smile you guys i am so happy i am so blessed and i am so thankful every single day like every day and I, <laughs> what do you do with this energy, right? I don't even know what's coming into me right now, but that's what the ancestors are offering you. Oh my God, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Wow, that's different. Um, <sighs> I almost want to say, okay, so I had a message coming in and I, uh, kind of blocked it because I went off on a different tangent but it's coming back now so with the electricity and the shock to your system that like things are falling down on the wayside is because there's a sense of um this earth is changing there's there's new um there's ancient and new energies that are converging at this time and it's almost creating that static or that electricity because it's like, you know, that phrase out with the old and with the new, the old doesn't want to leave. It's that stuck energy. It's that, uh, and I'm getting patriarchal, um, that's being called. And I was listening to something about that as well, but like how times are changing and oh, wow. Time to worship the woman. Do you see, uh, and I mean, I don't know who this is, but just how she's, how this person is cloaked is giving me a, and he, and this is a man. This is giving me a woman vibe. And this is giving me a man's vibe. But basically, he doesn't look very happy right now. Um, with the way things are, uh, the change, the change, it's that foundational change that's coming into play. So, um... Maybe the ancestors is guiding you and I feel like it's a feminine energy 
And it's almost like the masculine is even being like, not taking a seat, but like acknowledging the abundance or the power or like the, um, cause I'm getting Empress energy. It's, it's definitely mother. It's womb. It's earth. It's, it's like, um, abundance. It's the masculine. Ooh, almost the intuition. The, the masculine is sitting back to acknowledge the strength of the intuition of the feminine, of all of the power of the feminine. It's like coming into that new age where war and all of that, it's more of on a spiritual intuitive scale. It's more of a war over one's rights to think. Rights to be, rights to represent, rights to... And it's that feminine nurturing nature that's about to come to wash over all of this. The fire is going to be put out by water. That's the clash. That's the static. Um, I'm getting a really... This is really spiritual and ethereal, um, this reading. Ah. Uh, <laughs> But what it's being bringing forth to me is the sense that I almost see a reptile here. Do y'all see this face? What are they worshiping? I don't know. I've had this before. I've had a dream about this before. I just got deja vu from saying that. If that was what they were doing, what she's about to do is going to be completely different. And it's shaking a foundation here. Trust in your feminine. Trust in your feminine energy. It's almost asking to sit back and not be so called to action, but to be called to believe. To be called to be led by your feelings. It's not going to make sense. It's not going to be a masculine, like, logical thing. It's feminine. It's intuitive. It's a feeling. A knowing. A deja vu. That's the title of this reading. Thank you, Collective. This is your morning tea. It's a very magical hour. As I said, it's five in the morning. I've been up since, like, one. But it's funny how, like, during these times and if you look at this as one plus four it's five during these times it's very magical hour this is a change who change into the new day change into the new dawn change into the new times red dawn there's a tower coming here and three of crystals is behind it you see what this says, Trinity, working together. <sighs> I'm getting chills. Okay, Collective, love you guys. Hopefully, I don't want to make these readings too long because I want to push out more, get more content out here. So, um, love you guys. Take care. Thank you. Asha.